For the past couple of weeks, I've had the opportunity to get a first-hand look at a project that I've briefly mentioned in videos in the past, but have been keeping a much closer eye on behind the scenes. If you remember one of my earlier Game Change episodes, even before the birth of Fat Thor, I showcased a series of mods that made Skyrim into a game more like Oblivion's classic RPG style. From visuals all the way to UI, creatures and mechanics, I covered a good selection of mods to try and achieve the goal of transforming Skyrim into Oblivion. Well, forget all of that because Skyblivion exists. Now Skyblivion is a community-led project headed by Rebel's Eyes which aims to recreate and redesign the entirety of Oblivion in the Skyrim engine. And to be clear, when I say Skyrim engine, I mean mostly mechanics and generic UI layout, because this project visually looks way, way better than even Special Edition. And that's all with no other mods required. None. And also, I'll note that the project lead, Rebel's Eyes, who I mentioned a moment ago, is the same person that cursed me with having to make a video transforming Fallout 4 into Skyrim. So you can thank him for that abomination when I one day get around to making it. I mean, I said I was going to do it, just didn't say when. Now, for the past couple of months, Rebel and I have been speaking on and off in the DMs. I know, how romantic. And have been discussing the idea of possibly helping the team out by putting together the first of their Dev Diary videos. And after a few weeks or months, I'm not really sure how long it was, to be honest, we finally decided to give it a shot. And thus, Heavy Burns became part of the Sky Bolivian team. Well... Not really. More like, here's the Skyblivian team, and then there's me, just over there. Now previous to this, they had been on and off working on this Dev Diary video for about six months. Um, and I decided I was going to do it in about two weeks. Yeah. So as any good professional editor does, I went through the commentary, overlaid all the music, blocked out all the scenes, and wrote down what needed to be shown. And we were off to the races. And by off to the races, I mean taking really slow cinematic shots for about 4 hours a day, and then spending the other 20 editing them together into a 16 minute video. But if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that that's basically my entire channel, so they picked the right man for the job. Now, I'm not going to go into any specifics about what's been done in the project or what they're working on, you can find all of that in the Dev Diary video on Rebel's channel, which you should watch, because I spent two entire weeks making it. Oh, also any footage in the background of this video you're seeing now is essentially continuations of the shots from that video. So basically, if you want any of the good shit, head over and watch the dev diary. If you want the scrappy leftovers, then you've came to the right place. So, what goes into a project of this size and how can you get involved? After getting a look at some of their project assets which are needed in order to make the video, I can safely say without a doubt that these guys are saints. The fact that they go into this much detail and invest this amount of professional time is insane, especially for the fact that it's a volunteer project, and there is currently still only about 30 active members of the dev team which is kind of mental to see how far they've came considering that. Every single person that I've seen working on this is beyond talented, and I know you guys are going to be blown away with the level of detail that has gone into the world that they're creating. Again, watch the Dev Diary video for more detail on what you can expect to see in Sky Bolivian. It'll be the top link in the description below. But with all great projects, it takes great people to put them together. And while they already have many wonderfully talented people working on Sky Bolivian, there's still a lot to be done. So if you have any experience in modding, from 3D modeling all the way through to texture work or world design, then this is your chance to be a part of something special. And you can sign up on their volunteer page at skyblivian.com, which will also be linked in the description. And if you have no modding experience at all and want to know how you can help, all you need to do is simply show your support for the project. As volunteers, the largest driving motivation for the devs is seeing people like me and you be excited for what they're working on. And I think excited is an understatement for the scale of this project. Throwing it one last time back to the game change video I mentioned earlier, my main gripe with Oblivion was that its engine and mechanics were incredibly outdated for today's standards. So you can probably guess how much I'm looking forward to this game when it's finished. Also, I may or may not have possibly or not possibly maybe hidden Fat Thor somewhere in the first episode, and may or may not be possibly planning to hide him again in all future episodes, so keep an eye out for that. It's honestly been a real pleasure getting the opportunity to actually work with Rebel to put this video series together for all of you. It's been really interesting personally, being someone who has been essentially watching the Elder Scrolls community for the past 10 years, 
and seeing all these different projects, mods and creators flourish. And then in this year, in my own small way, getting to actually see behind the curtains a little bit and get an inside look into all the things that as a viewer you never really expect you'd get to see. At the start of this year I had like 200 subscribers and now we're pushing 30,000 which is first off kind of mental in itself but secondly the transition from being a fan and then beginning to become more involved in the community to the point where I'm slowly becoming one of those creators myself is a really crazy thing to be a part of. In the first year of my channel alone I got to speak to people that I never thought I would, be a part of projects that I never thought I could, and create a small cosy corner of the internet where I can build an audience that I thought I'd never be able to get. And I do really want to do a kind of like my first year on YouTube video sometime in the future to kind of go over some of the crazy stuff that's happened so far because I'm still kind of wrapping my head around some of the opportunities I've had in such a small amount of time. Alright, I'm not sure when this video became a f***ing draw my life, so we're going to bring it back to Skype Livian for the wrap up. Again, just getting to be a part of the project in any way is a blessing and it's definitely the most professional video I've done probably mostly to do with Ryan being the one voicing it who can actually speak unlike my illiterate ass, but it's definitely something I'm proud to have my name on, and I also want this video to serve as a little idea hub for what you'd like to see in other episodes. What did you like or dislike about the first dev diary, and what would you like us to showcase in more detail in the next one? You already know by now that I basically read all the comments, so if you have any opinion whatsoever then this will be the best place for me to see them and start working them into the next episode. Again, check out the dev diary. It's the reason you ain't got more than like one video in the past month, so we're back to normality again. At least until the next episode, but I'll try and manage my schedule a bit better next time. Also, you can check in on Rebels Eyes' Twitch whenever he's live, as he often streams live development of the project. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm not actually sure what this was. I kind of just wanted to use leftover shots from the dev diary to be honest, so I didn't feel like I wasted hours and hours shooting them. So, this is what you got. But I'll see you in the next video, which should be a Samson episode. Hopefully. Adios, bitches. Mysterious one, ain't you? Don't find many of your folk in these lands anymore. Everyone's far too oldish.